What's up? What's up? Free What's throw. up, guys? Veluja here, playing a free for all and rundown. Uh, we're using the Barrett 50 cal with a silencer, the AA-12 shotgun for my backup. Be using Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. Uh, be using claymores for my equipment, and my kill streak <laughs> setup will be a little bit different than usual. Other than using the Pavlo, I'll be using the Chopper Gunner. Um, so, which means I'll be using the Harrier, Chopper Gunner, and a Tactical Nuke. Okay, strategy. Yeah, if you watch my videos, you know what my strategy is, so I really shouldn't have to tell you, but I will anyway. Um, I'm going to pick a home base, secure it, and keep people out. And this is basically my favorite map, so this is always my home base, this building here. And uh, so I'm going to keep people out of it. Um, uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, if you just come across this just by searching, um, you can click in the top right hand corner, click on my link and go to my YouTube page and you can watch all my videos. Um, and you will understand what I'm talking about. Um, I have I had a challenge to get 10 tactical nukes on videos and they had to all be in free-for-alls so in other words I have gotten 10 tactical nukes and free-for-alls on video then uh, thought to myself well that's done now what what can I possibly do now besides just gameplay uh, somebody brought to my hey you know brought to my attention that hey you should do a uh, 10 tactical nukes in free-for-alls with sniper rifles thought to myself oh hell that'll be easy well not realizing that uh, modern warfare 2 is a lot different from cod 4 uh, and what I mean by that is Oh, you see that little guy gave me a little, nope, gave me a little head shake after he killed me. Uh, he's basically telling me this is his game. So, uh, we're going to have to talk him out of that idea that this is his game. This is going to be my game. This is my map, my favorite map, and I never lose on this map. So, anyway back to the point the point what I was making is that in con 4 the Barrett 50 cal anything above the waist was a kill if you got hit with the 50 cal above the waist automatic kill so before I accepted this challenge didn't realize it that the gun is now Enemy um, basically a lot weaker in Modern Warfare 2 than it is in COD 4. Um, yes, I've done the research. Uh, I've played with the silencer and without the silencer. So it has nothing to do with the silencer. It is basically they drop the kill the kill strength from the weapon down so I thought maybe it was just the the Barrett that was weaker so I tried the intervention and it's the same deal Enemy care so unless you're shooting someone in the neck or head it's going to take more than one shot um, as you will see I got get a lot of really good shots and I get hit markers and nothing pisses a person off than hit markers I mean especially if you're sniping and you have having to shoot people on the run you know it's really aggravating as hell so 
but I am still going to attempt the challenge. Um, there he is, right there. Now watch. Me. No, this is my game. And if I'm not mistaken, he backs that. Probably not. Right there. Harry is waiting for your mark. Okay, um, let's talk about the new st stimulus maps. Um, everyone thought Friend that Harry that would be available for PlayStation Network and Xbox, but you know. I did use the PlayStation 3 and come to find out that the map pack was only going to be released at the end of March for Xbox users only. Which come to find out that uh, Microsoft paid a pretty good penny for that privilege. And well, I've got friends that have the Xbox and from some of the uh, videos I've seen on YouTube of the new maps. They look like they, they, look like they pretty much suck. <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, that's what they look like. Um, it seemed to me like they were trying to get a lot done quick. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty bad whenever you run out of ideas and you have to put three, excuse me, two maps from an earlier game. You know, I, I just don't understand why they did that. Um, it really upsets people. I've heard a lot of people, you know, feel like it's, it's just their way of getting a map pack out as quick as possible. Um, I would like to say that, you know, the two maps from COD 4 that they have put on the Modern Warfare 2 which I do believe is Crash and uh, Creek, I do believe. I know it's one of the sniper levels. Are really good maps. So, I mean, I'm not complaining that it's bad maps. It's just that, you know, if you're going to pay $15, $16, $17, $20, however much they're charging for a map pack, you should have all new maps. Um, you know, that's like when Treyarch did World at War, it seemed like every three, every four months, they had a map pack. And as addicted to zombies as I was, that was like a blessing. Like, you know, just think every four months, dude, you got a new zombie map. Me and me and my friends, we were excited about that, but no, no more map packs um, for War at War. So zombies is a thing of the past, unless they can come out with some some newer maps. I don't see much play going on there for zombies. Um, but this turned out to be a pretty good game. Um, Claymore's covered my ass, of course, so, but that's it, uh, there, there he is, he got me again, but I got the nuke, he didn't, so this was my game, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please rate, comment, and please subscribe, if you watched the video, subscribe, please, click in the right hand corner, the little yellow tab that says subscribe. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.